Let's talk about importing and exporting subdivision surfaces. Let's say you're working inside of Maya and you've built a car, and this is a subdivisional model, um, and you wanna start using this inside of Alias. We're going to export from Maya as an OBJ file, and we'll wanna export selection, OBJ, export selection, and then we'll just choose this one from Maya, export, go ahead and replace it. Then we'll switch over to Alias, and this is very important because it was exported as an OBJ file, it's really just exporting the cage, the unsmooth box model cage that we are, we're used to. We'll go to import, and we have to import this not as a file, but as a subdiv surface. And that way, Alias knows how to interpret that cage as a subdivisional surfaces to generate the limit surface. So we'll just hit import, it's very fast because it's only importing the cage. Let's go ahead and turn that off and rotate this. There we go. And now you can see right away, it was able to smooth the model. And now we can switch between box mode and smooth mode. So it's just a fantastic translation from Maya to Alias. And it's the pretty much the exact same type of translation into Maya. There is one caveat. There's one thing to consider. This model is all the edges have been beveled. But let's say, let me just assign this to here. And let's just say we had a model that used creases. Creases do not translate between Maya and Alias, mainly because we're, we're really exporting the cage information and the export out of alias does not keep or, or maintain the crease information at this point. So just be aware any of the creasing that you've done in this package may not work in other packages. If I'm interested in sending this back to Maya, I'm going to pick the object. Sometimes I find it's best to pick it as a sub D and then file, export, active as subdiv, and we'll choose OBJ. I have it saved already, Aurora from alias. I'll click save and replace it. And then inside of Maya, you would just import the OBJ file. Let's focus in on the bumper and talk about converting this within alias to say NURBS or to mesh. Let's start with converting this to a NURBS file. Surface from subdiv options and we'll keep the originals, hit go, and there's really, it's instant. Because subdivisional surfaces in alias are really generating NURBS limit surfaces, if we just convert that to NURBS, it's basically just extracting it as a NURBS model um, without the subdiv cage. And you can see all of the CVs and the blending, everything you would expect from a NURBS model. So that's very straightforward. Let's go ahead and delete this. Now, let's say we wanted to convert the subdiv model to a mesh. The best way to convert this to a mesh is using the mesh tessellation options, subdiv to mesh. You can see it's using subdivision levels. And this is very similar to how Maya uses the smoothness levels, the subdivision smoothness. So we'll just leave it at three. I'll hit go. I want you to notice that it generated the mesh without the boundaries of the limit surface. So it created this tessellated part as if it was just one giant object and the tessellation looks fantastic. 